drivers making them that our drivers are bringing together all state commanders and sector heads of the federal road safety corps corps marshal boboye oyeyemi noted that this year has seen an unprecedented rate of intentional violence employed against road safety officials he emphasized that with the death of over 70 road safety officials in 2016 alone there has been an increase in personnel casualties at the hands of motorists who drive on the wrong side of the law. A recent occurrence was the in Interlector Mafara Zamfara State, where a motorist ran into the mobile court in session, killing three operatives almost instantly, while a civil defense operative died later as a result of injuries sustained in the dastardly act. But the question is this, must we give up, give up on our country? Will any foreigner come to change our road situation for us? Following the implementation of a reviewed road safety enforcement strategy, the FRSC has recorded an unprecedented 25% reduction in road fatalities and a 15% reduction in road accidents. In actual terms, there have been 4,005 deaths and 7,657 road crashes at the end of the 47th week in 2016. The call marshal emphasized that violent acts will soon be met with the full force of arms as stipulated by the act establishing the Federal Road Safety Commission. The act gives powers to the court to bear arms. Our personnel have been trained, about 5,000 of, 5, of them have been trained. We are just waiting for the revalidation of the early approval. Okay? So the act gives us the power. We've received approval. 5,000 personnel have been trained, so it's not, it's not an arm robber. Insurance cannot replace life. That is, my, that is one of the issues we want to tackle at strategic sessions. Most of these cases, they were not on the road. They were by the roadside carrying out their lawful duties. And you now see a violent driver just going for them because, especially what is needed today is this, this enforcement on overloading. While the FRSC intends to protect road users, they believe recent trends necessitate measures that will safeguard the Guardian. Measures, they hope, will eliminate unjustifiable acts of violence against their personnel.